Okay, so looking at everything you've done, it looks pretty good up to a certain point. I'm just going to, this should just be F, not F prime. We didn't take derivative yet. So, yep, product rule. There's your product rule. Our first thing is x to the fifth. Our second thing is going to be x plus 5 over x plus 1 to the fifth. So it's going to have to be the, the first times the derivative of the second. So we have to find the derivative of h prime, which is which, or sorry, we have to find h prime, which is what you started doing here. I think there was a mistake made in this step. What you should have done is distributed this thing to both terms inside the parentheses, the x plus 5 to the fourth to this thing, as well as x plus 5 to the fourth to this thing. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cover this up and I'm going to continue from that point because I think it cleans up nicer if we just simplify uh, the quotient first. So if you look at this thing, I'm going to rewrite this first part. 5 times x plus 5 over x plus 1 to the fourth. This is x plus 1 minus x minus 5 over x plus 1 squared. Well, x minus x, they cross out. 1 minus 5, I'm left with negative 4. So h prime... of x is going to be negative 4 times 5 or negative 20 x plus 5 to the fourth this whole thing is negative 4 so when I multiply I have negative 4 times 5 is negative 20 and then this thing just goes next to it over x plus 1 so this is to the sixth So that's h prime. So the, the final derivative is going to be f prime of x equals first x to the fifth times the derivative of the second, which is this thing. plus the second, which is that thing, times the derivative of the first. Now, we might be able to clean this up a little bit, but it's not going to be much better looking than that. This is negative 20 x to the fifth times x plus 5 to the fourth over x plus 1 to the sixth plus 5x to the fourth x plus 5 to the fifth over x plus 1 to the fifth.